parents would tell me to take out the trash and clean my room. And I would respond with, but why? And they would say, because I said so. What they meant when they said this was, they have authority over me, and they know it's best for me, and I shouldn't question them. In a similar way, God chose his power in Exodus 3, 13 through 14. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. This establishes how God will, has always existed, will always exist. He's unchanging, and he has a plan and a purpose for us. Jeremiah 29, 11. We can see this in three powerful ways. First, God's omnipotent, which means that God is powerful. There's no greater power in existence than the power of God. There's nothing in existence that God does not have power over. A great example of God's power is in the beginning of Genesis. Genesis begins by describing the work of God and creation. God spoke creation into existence. Just think about that for a second. God is so powerful that he can speak nothing into something. Secondly, God is also omniscient, which means that God is all-knowing. God knows everything. There isn't a single thing that can be known, perhaps past, present, or future, that God is not aware of. Psalm 139, 1-4 says, O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts far off. You comprehend my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. For, there's not, for there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O oh Lord, you know it altogether. Often we mistakenly begin to believe that God isn't aware of us or what we're experiencing. But God isn't distant, and he certainly isn't unaware. He knows everything about us. Finally, God is omnipresent. Which means that God is everywhere at once. Proverbs 15.3 says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place, watching the evil and the good. There isn't a place anyone could go where they could escape his presence. I believe that we make better decisions in life when we know that God is with us. Job 34.21 says, For his eyes are on the way of man, and he sees his steps. Nothing can be hidden from God. He will be with us everywhere we go. God isn't distant from us. He is acquainted with all aspects of our lives. So God is all-powerful, all-knowing, and everywhere at once. Let's go back to how he refers to himself. I am. We need to look no further than his word to know him. Folks, this is the same God that destroyed the world by flood. The same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. The same God that made a covenant with Abram. The same God that saved Isaac from sacrifice. The same God that wrestled with Jacob. The same God that spoke to Moses from a burning bush. The same God that sent the plagues on the Egyptians. The same God that parted the Red Sea. The same God that helped a little shepherd boy defeat a giant. The same God that fed the Israelites manna and quail. The same God who allowed Satan to test Job. The same God who punished the Israelites whenever they fell away. The same God who's watching your behavior at work, on social media, on websites, and in your head. And folks, the same God who sent his only begotten son Jesus to teach us, lead by example, and provide us a way to salvation by dying. The great I am has accomplished a lot. In the Gospel of John, the phrase I am is used 26 times. Jesus himself said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Ladies and gentlemen, we all fall short of the glory of God, Romans 3, 23. <coughs> but we know, Philippians 4, 13, that we can do all things through Christ, including joining him and God someday if we believe, confess Jesus as God's Son, repent of our sins, and have them washed away at baptism. I'm a team that loves football lacrosse, fishing, hanging with my friends, my youth group, my family. I'm also sometimes messy, sometimes lazy, and sometimes, yeah, I probably could do better. What we need to realize is that we are, yes, we are a reflection of God as the I am. But everyone 
universities and our jobs, our schools, our sporting events, is a reflection of how important God is to us. As I am in you, you others see I am in you. If you're here today and you wish to put on Christ in baptism, do not wait. If you're in need of prayers for forgiveness for a public sin, do not wait on it. Nothing in your life is more important than truly making sure that you are walking for the great I am.